The Itasca State Park headwaters will be taking part in a restoration project for its shoreline. Reporting for this week's Northwoods Adventure, Betsy Mullane learned more. Itasca State Park was established in 1891, making it Minnesota's oldest state park. This week, it's undergoing a restoration project on its shoreline. Bringing in material, bringing in fills such as rocks like six inches in diameter and big putting that along the shoreline and then in those spaces in between they're putting smaller and smaller rocks so that when the water is moving through it's not scouring the shoreline and then we'll be feathering the top with soil we'll be planting vegetation the need for the restoration comes from the popularity of the state park as well as weather events every year we have over a half a million visitors that come here and over the last several decades with all these people walking in and out of the river we have noticed that there has been erosion occurring along the embankment and also with these various rain events um, the the water the excess water coming out of Lake Itasca flowing over the rocks has been scouring the shoreline. This has led to a change in the topography of the shores. So where the river normally was 40 feet wide at its original opening, it's now almost 70 plus feet wide. While the restoration is going on, parts of the river will not be available for tourists. Will not actually be able to get to the headwaters rocks. So probably that first 75 to 100 yards of the river area will be blocked off because as we are moving um, material such as stones and rock and some soil for finishing the surface, we do need that area closed. This is the first project of its kind in many decades. In the 1930s during the Great Depression, boys in the Civilian Conservation Corps spent about eight years reestablishing the river channel, putting it back on its original course, and then building the iconic uh, dam with the rocks. Reporting in Bemidji for this week's Northwoods Adventure, Betsy Moline, Lakeland News. The project's planned to be finished by Friday the 10th, so any weekend visitors will be able to enjoy the Headwaters area. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.